Hey, good morning again, everyone. Uh, about to get started with another three minutes with God. Um, still in uh, Romans chapter 12. So let's go ahead and start the timer. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And do not be conformed uh, to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That um, Paul is saying that um, as he's continuing on with uh, from verse one to uh, to not uh, to uh, to present ourselves to God, which is our reasonable service, and then he's telling us to uh, to not be conformed to this world. Being conformed is to be. Uh, molded or shaped or to, to to shift to to the things that you are around uh, one thing the one way that I like to say it is uh, if you uh, spend a lot of time in the New Orleans area or if you go up north to the uh, New York area if you if you spend enough time in that in that environment then you will develop that accent uh, you don't know that you're doing it and um, and it's, it's just one of those things as it's just happening because you are conforming to your environment. Um, and sooner or later, you will just begin to talk like them. Um, and again, you, you don't know that you're doing it. You just you just are adapting to your environment. But what Paul is saying is for us not to adapt to this world, not to uh, be be conformed to this world, not to because. Because we don't belong to this world. We may be in it, but we don't belong to it. Um, and he says, the only way that you will not conform to the world that you are around and in is to transform, uh, is to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It, it is, this this Christian walk is, um, as I like to tell people, it's, a, it's not just something that you do. It's an actual lifestyle change that that I, I, I'm the same person, but I don't do the same things uh, because my mind has been changed. That when when I can actually sit back and look back and on how God has actually changed my mind and, and and that I still have the same ability to do everything that I used to do, that God has changed my will. I don't want to. Um, and so that's, that's just, that is how you know that you've had a real encounter with Jesus is, is because you can still go out and do the same things that you used to do, but you just don't have a desire to do it. And that is, that is the thing, the difference between, uh, religion and having a relationship with Christ. He says that you may prove what is that good, good and acceptable and perfect will of God, that, that God's will is perfect. And, uh, there is the difference between his perfect will and his permissive will, that there's a lot of things that God permits, but he does, that's not in his perfect will. Um, and as we get ready to close today, we just, uh, just know that if you are going to live a life for Christ, then you have to be transformed. Uh, your mind has to be transformed and you have to make the conscious effort and decision each day that I'm going to live for God and not this world. So God bless you and have a great day.